Welcome back to Midday. We are joined by four lovely ladies who are entrepreneurs in our city and they have uh, kind of gotten together and decided to run their businesses out of the same building, different spaces, but the same building on Lawrence Street. So we were joined by Melissa D'Agostini. Thank you for being here, Melissa. She is the owner of White Olive Photography. We also have Chelsea Hogan joining us in the middle here, who is the owner of Fern and Frond Floral Studio. These lovely flowers are Chelsea's fantastic <laughs> arrangements. We've got Nikki Williams on the far end there, and she's joining us, the owner of Craft Night, and also, not to be forgotten, just sitting up high on a big stool back there is Carly Schmidt, the owner of Art Party. So thanks to all four of you guys for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yeah, this is exciting. I really mm -hmm. think this is a unique business venture. I'm yeah. going to start with you, Melissa. Maybe mm -hmm. you can explain exactly sort of what you guys are doing, because you've, you're moving into the same place. Yep but still running your separate businesses, right? We are. So basically, it's kind of a location that's tough for people to find, and we're all starting new businesses, so we figured we need to do something. Mm -hmm. So let's host a block party. Let's get people you know, familiar with the area and the location. And we have a lot of amazing clients um, that have really helped us get where we've gotten to over the years, yeah. and we just kind of want to give back a little bit. So we'll have some big prizes and draws and stuff. So, so. that's on April 13th from 1 April to 4. April 13th, yeah, wonderful. Um, and you're located on Lorne Street, 1428, right? Yes, yes. yeah. So Lorne Street's kind of difficult. It's a little bit, um, it's near the water treatment plant. Mm -hmm. It's near Real Deals, yep. which they're going to be a part of the block party as well well um, and kind of near Storm's restaurant so yeah. that's kind of how we tell people where we're located. <laughs> okay well let's chat about um, your business yep. White Olive Photography. Mm -hmm. Great name by the way I really Thank like you. that. <laughs> uh, we have some photos that we can show of the uh, work that Melissa has done. This is fantastic. Tell us about your business Melissa. You do primarily motherhood or weddings? and I kind of do it all. Yeah. I absolutely love photography. I love oh, all the that. aspects. So, so cute. I do newborn, I do maternity, um, I do weddings as well. Um, I do a bit of content creation and actually the heart of my studio and what my plan is to really focus is on motherhood. Right. So that includes mothers with their children, mm -hmm. um, just documenting different things like that and that's where I kind of want to really um, take my business with the studio aspect of it to really focus on motherhood. Good for you. Yeah. That's, well, you do great work. I mean, these are Thank absolutely you. stunning. Thank you. Um, and Chelsea, let's chat with you a little bit about your floral studio. Uh, we know that the these lovely flowers here on our table are uh, your uh, beautiful arrangements yeah. that you brought in for us today to have a look at. Um, <laughs> how long have you been doing this? Yes, sort of so tell, talk about your business a little sure. bit. Um, Fern and Frond um, is a business I started from home in 2014, primarily doing wedding florals. Right. So. Um, yeah, I've been working away over the years, building my business. We moved to Kamloops in October 2017, and um, I'm looking forward to a very busy wedding season. Yeah. But now having this studio space allows me to um, bring it out of my home and um, take on more everyday um, floral arrangements. So special occasions, birthdays, mm -hmm. anniversaries, and then all the holidays like Easter and Mother's Day is coming up. Um, as well as I offer subscriptions and um, workshops to people to come into the studio and, and learn how to do yeah, it. Yeah, so and great. play with flowers. We have, I think, some pictures too of uh, some more work that Chelsea's done. Look at these, these are fantastic. Oh. Was this for a wedding, Chelsea? Do you remember? Um, this I did at a workshop oh, okay. down in Washington, and it's one of my favorite pieces. And you've I've always been really interested in gardening well, and florals? Yeah, I really fell in love with flowers on my grandma's farm. She had an amazing garden, and I used to put together flowers hours for dinner and um, we made swags and stuff like that wow. but I went to school for commercial floristry in old Alberta and that's where my passion really grew. Wow. Yeah. Remarkable. Thanks. So being um, in the same building, so this is the first time that you ladies will have, have had a storefront then okay. essentially, right? Yeah, I had a, a small location on Victoria Street. I'd okay. been there for about eight months and this opportunity, Chelsea kind of found her space first, told me about it because Chelsea and I have worked a lot together. Okay. Um, and then I went and checked it out and I was like, I need to be in this space. Yeah. They are absolutely beautiful storefronts mm -hmm. and it's a new building. It's just everything yeah, it just kind of yeah. came together really nicely, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. so neat. I love that. Okay, well, we're not done yet. We want to take a quick
quick break, but we're going to chat with Nikki and Carly about their uh, businesses as well. So 1428 Lawrence Street is where these four businesses are located. Um, and they're having a block party on April 13th from 1 to 4. We're back in two minutes on Midday. Don't go anywhere. We're going to tell you a little bit more about Craft Night and Art Party. Stay with us. Welcome back to Midday. We are still joined by four ladies who are on a very unique business venture. They each have their own individual businesses, but they are now going to be located in the same building and uh, can work kind of together that way. Um, we are joined, of course, by Carly Schmidt, who is right here beside me, the owner of Art Party. We also have Nikki Williams, who is the owner of Craft Night. Thanks, ladies, for being here. It's now your turn to tell us about <laughs> your businesses. I'll start with you, Carly. Um, you are a talented artist. I mean, we can see uh, one of your pieces right there on the ground that we can lift up. But tell us a little bit about how long you've been painting and, and your business. Well, I've been painting about 27 years, I guess. I started when I was about three. Mm -hmm. And I've been selling my work professionally for about 15 years. Wow. Uh, three years ago, I started teaching classes and I started up Kamloops Art Party. So it's just a very fun group-based event. We have public lessons, kids lessons, adult lessons, and uh, just learning how to create pieces like this. Even yeah. if you can't even draw a stick man, you can learn how to create uh, paintings and glassware, yeah. watercolor, acrylic. I've done those, one of those paint nights before, and I'll tell you, I can draw a stick man, no problem. Didn't think I was going to be able to draw. I think it was an owl we did, and I was super impressed with myself. I'm yeah. like, wow, I can <laughs> actually paint. It's just because you go through it step by step, right? Exactly. So with a little bit of uh, a little bit of proper instruction, mm -hmm. the right tools, mm -hmm. the right paints, it is a really, really fun experience. Awesome. And Nikki, yourself, you you do um, some beautiful crafts. We've got some right here, and you guys are together, right? Like. Each of these businesses are located in a different spot of the building, but you two are working out of the same one, right? Yeah, so me and Carly, um, we're actually going to be sharing the same studio space, um, kind of 50-50, half the time I'll be there, half the time you'll be there. But being in the same studio space will also help us to be able to collaborate on projects oh, great... and maybe offer camps and different stuff. Like, we both have so many ideas and we're just, yeah. like, bursting to share. So we're both very creative people, obviously. Yeah, I know. This um, is so, yeah, it's going to be wonderful. I don't know, Dan, if you can get some shots of these but yeah. these are so really so I've cool. brought just kind of um just an offering of some of the different projects that mm -hmm. I've taught throughout the past year um yeah, the projects are really fun and simple. The way that I design them is so that when you come to a class, basically it's just your time to relax and enjoy, to make something beautiful mm -hmm. that you can take home, you can proudly display it, you'll use it. Usually yeah. it's going to be a nice part of your decor. It's really yeah. neat. We have some photos. Let's, um, if we can put uh, Nikki's photos up first and we'll just uh, show you exactly what she's talking about. These are, oh, these are, this is the two of you. Yeah, that's, that's, a great that's photo. our new location um, there. So yes, working out of the same studio and uh, these are some of the pieces that you You've done before, right? Yeah, that's an upcoming project this month. You can actually still book um, if you want to book a private party in the mm -hmm. studio, or you can be part of one of my public events. That's a fundraiser a couple months ago. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, these are so neat. And you know what? You see so many of these signs in different stores, like Winners yes. and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, you can make your own easily. Oh, definitely. We have so much fun at our parties. Um, so yeah, I offer private parties, uh, public events, as well as fundraisers. And yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun. Good for you. That's Thank great. you. And Carly, we have some photos of yours as well. Are, are the, um, okay, so you did this, is this part of a paint night or is this your this piece? This is one of my pieces, but that's a beautiful thing about this studio space is right. we can offer intermediate and advanced classes. You can learn how to create anything from photolistic portraits mm -hmm. to, um, yeah, drop in and drop in and create at whatever level, abstract, yeah. um, sketching. Essentially, you can pay, teach anyone to be an artist. Exactly. Is that what you're trying to tell exactly. us? Do we, is there hope for all of us? <laughs> yeah, start, in, start in at the drop-in classes, yeah. and before you know it, you'll be painting big, beautiful mm -hmm. pieces. What about these glasses that are on our table? Um, is that 
something that you can teach how to do too or is that a totally different kind of skill that you'd have to learn that is absolutely teachable okay so anyone anyone can do any of it of course it um, starting with a simpler design getting mm -hmm. used to the medium and then you can start working up to really really cool projects yeah those are really really <laughs> neat this is so this is so neat so have you guys all moved in Melissa yeah, they're still working at getting their workspace kind of completed and finished. Okay. I moved in a week and a bit ago, so my studio is not 100% set up the way that I would like it, and I think Chelsea is more established. She's been in a couple months longer than me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're just getting started. Yeah. 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 The crunch is on for Saturday, though, because that's our block party, so I'm like, I'm determined to have the studio like 100% ready and beautiful, and yeah. it will be done. Yeah. yeah. It will be. It will be. It'll be beautiful. Um, and anyone's yeah. invited? to that yes okay yes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. and will you have some of your your uh, pieces displayed will people get a sense of what your business is when they're there yeah definitely yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. we're gonna actually in our studio we're gonna have a wall with the upcoming projects so that people can see oh next month you know I can sign up for this one or that one and mm -hmm. just to encourage people and show what we have in store that's so exciting. So, yeah, yeah, this is great. So did you guys know each other before, like really well, or was it just from, you know, you mentioned Melissa <laughs> and Chelsea kind of working yeah. together? At... Me, and, me and Nikki grew up together. Okay. So we've been really, really close friends since we were like preteen yeah. age. Oh, okay. um, Worked a lot with Chelsea in the last couple, yeah. of, couple of years on lots of different, um, di different weddings well, and projects. She, she actually <laughs> photographed my husband and I, we renewed our wedding vows. Oh, it was our first project. It was so oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then we, we just met Carly not too long ago. Yeah. <laughs> and me and Chelsea, our kids are in the same school. Oh, so, okay. And so there's a connection. connection. Yeah. 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 How fun. Yeah. This is not only going to be good for business, but kind of fun that you can build these friendships and <laughs> yeah. stuff too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Sure. I love it. It's very unique. I like that. 1428 Lord Street is where you can find all four of these businesses. Of course, we've had their websites up throughout the show there and also their Instagram handles. Um, so yes, uh, block party April 13th, one to four, everybody's invited. It'll be fun. You get to see all these little uh, things that uh, they've created. I think you mentioned there's wine. <laughs> there's, there's a food truck and we're also going to have lots of prizes. So there's yeah. a lot of different things to be won. Um, so you got to come check it out. <laughs> awesome. Thank you ladies for joining us. Best Thank of luck you. on your, you. uh, in your businesses. I'm sure we'll have you back on the show uh, another time as well. We're back in two minutes on midday. Stay with us.